Ronaldo is not at the peak of his powers. He's fucking playing in the SPL, which starts with Saudi in its name. So, <laughs> can't be taken seriously. The theme of this thought take is Cristiano Ronaldo. Joao Cancelo has said that he told a Portuguese network, RTP, that Ronaldo is an important player and spent 15 years competing with Messi for Ballon d'Or. But the peak of a football career is between the age 25 and 32. He is an important player. But the national team does not depend entirely on him. So, amidst the, the news that Ronaldo also furiously left the national team game against Portugal's 2 0 loss recently, what do you think about Ronaldo's antics? I think whatever Cancelo just said is absolutely justified. Like, because Ronaldo is not at the peak of his powers, he's fucking playing in the SPL, which starts with Saudi in its name. So, <laughs> can't be taken seriously, number one. Number two, even there, he's missing some like weird ass goals, which like in the Premier League, they would have made memes about it. Ronaldo fanboy are just like you know completely you know overlooking all of that and the fact of the matter is that he's 38 39 pushing 39 years old like and he should not be the spearhead of the Portuguese team not at the expense of like Goncalo Ramos or anyone else that who's actually like more lot more fitter playing in better leagues and trying to like prove themselves right like so I'm with you Cancelo I think Ronaldo's past yeah, is pro- Portugal should not dude he's probably the fittest he's fitter than 98% of the footballers out there. And Gonzalo Ramos, he's not done shit. Like, he's done nothing for PSG. Like, he hasn't done anything for PSG this season. He hasn't gotten enough minutes to begin with. Like, that, right? That's so, the point, right? Mm. Because he hasn't what, been good enough. Why would you base your entire, like, national team on a player who's playing in a subpar league? Yeah. <sighs> Right? Dude, World Cup is something. World Cup is honestly a tournament where we've seen older people, mature people, actually perform really, really well. Like if you see Miroslav Klose or you see Roger Miller, if you remember, uh, there have been really, really iconic performances from older players. And Ronaldo is the most experienced there, so they should definitely build the team. This campaign, at least this campaign and his last campaign, around completely around him. They should cater to him. He's still a good, uh, one of the best goal scorers. Last year he scored the most number of goals. I don't see where you or Cancelo is coming from. I mean, they tried that approach in the Qatar 22 World Cup and look what it cost them. Right? Like, they gave away the balance. He doesn't really, like, press that high up. He has this gung-ho approach to all of it. And if you look at all of the Portuguese players, they have insanely high work rate from the top to the bottom. Except for this one obvious exception, which is Cristiano Ronaldo. So, I see where these shouts for Ronaldo are coming out. But, like, you would not want to base everything on a 39-year-old player playing in a Saudi league too. That's my argument and I'm going to side with this thing. And to your point, AJ, like, yes, I agree that, like, Goncalo Ramos is, like, probably, if you compare both of them, Ronaldo, you'd pick Ronaldo over him. But would you bank on Ronaldo to finish 90 minutes every game in Euros where they're going to face some of the toughest, tougher competitions than what he faces in Saudi week in week out. I think it's a, again, joke aside, but like it's a very kind of like Messi-esque argument, right? Like Messi, 36, doesn't press, never pressed, doesn't uh, overwork, never did Messi anything. Messi didn't press during the whole campaign and won Argentina the World Cup, Walked literally. Around. Maybe not fit enough to carry Portugal on his shoulders, but then his sheer presence and his sheer demeanor and the amount of energy he asks from the team just because of him being Ronaldo and being the winner and the champion that he is I think that motivates the whole nation and the whole team to a different level so even if he's like a, you know is going in like a super sub if you're not starting him or like you know bringing him for like last 30 minutes or something like that I think it, it has to be built around whole Ronaldo dynamics rather than any other player because they don't have a finisher plus such in their team they uh, uh, my question though like you're saying that you bring him on as a super sub so you'll not build your team around it he's an option in the team because he's past no 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 no. he's kind of like the focal point in the sense that like everything revolves around him like when he comes into the game or when he's starting the game the tactics are built around him because he's the lethal goal scorer not anyone else not Ramos for sure I mean he's he's the talisman dude like World Cup is all about balls World Cup is about like stature same reason why how Messi won Argentina in the World Cup but he wasn't the most important important player but the team was based around him essentially so you know that's that's the reason the only one the IPL with CSK same reason so the thing is the the other forwards that are in this team which are potentially like overlooked because of like the god complex that you both have for Ronaldo is Rafael Leo <laughs> right Goncalo yeah. Ramos was a bad example because Rafael Leo didn't strike, strike my mind and then mm-hmm. there is Pedro Neto right and then mm-hmm. you have uh, Jao Felix right 
some three other attacking players who could play with higher work rate arguably cool finishing i would say you're not missing out mm. you're not no. missing out on a lot no 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 you're not missing out on a lot by like no. bitching <laughs> as over a 39 year old ronaldo so yeah. that no. you I can think, yeah. actually you You're making a good point until you mention finishing. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely do believe that uh, finishing wise Ronaldo is head and shoulders above when everyone in the Portuguese team especially when it comes to big occasions like the World Cup again I'm saying if this was a league campaign right I would say mm-hmm. it's here differently but this is the bloody World yeah. Cup dude he's he's the boss of like these kind of competitions Champions League World Cup so essentially you have to have all these runners and workhorses around him and then he'll be the guy to finish things be- defenders will be imagine dude a Moroccan defender is seeing Ronaldo he's shitting his ass like and he's seeing Ramos the Gonzalo Ramos or whoever he's not he doesn't not thinking one bit he sees Cristiano Ronaldo in the middle of the game he's going to try to take his autograph and concede a goal but like think think from this perspective right like when do you move on from a player at what age do you think about moving on from a player because if you're thinking about world cup which is in 20 he's going to be 41 name me a last 41 year old player who played well regardless of like him being like human gene you know enigma and everything that is ronaldo i agree with all of that but there comes a point where you have to overlook you know you're go- we fucking retired such a roger Mr. miller i have your answer roger <laughs> miller the cameroonian player was the oldest player to score in a world cup 40 Two years and thirty-nine days, and he was the star of that World Cup. If you, and if you see, if if Portugal okay. take Ronaldo, they'll they'll suffer the same feat as Cameroon from that World Cup, <laughs> not win the World. Cup. Right? No, like, I so- mean the the Cameroonian team and the Portuguese team are different. Right? Portuguese team is probably at the peak of its powers That's right now. That's my point. Like, why would you take a forty-one-year-old Ronaldo to the peak of its powers? <laughs> I'm going to change my opinion. Are we talking about Euros or World Cup? Euros. Euros is actually World Cup. My point holds for both. I mean, my point holds only for Euros. Said before leaving, he said that Ronaldo is a drama queen, and I agree. Like you don't want to be no one that kind of like Jojo in your team when you're trying to win a trophy. It's drama, it's passion. Like you could see like tears coming out of his eyes, and like you know yeah. he couldn't hold back when he got knocked out. Which yeah. other Portuguese player did? I mean, was in the same state. It's just the passion of the tournament, and and that's what you need. And like you know, all these international tournaments. are not based on tactics they're just like gungo they're yolo like you know one moment of magic and you score one goal and then you just spark the buzz defend we will saw every coast won the won the afcon right they got eliminated and they won they came back from the dead bro <laughs> We will never know the answer to this, but the fact is that Portugal won that Euro when Ronaldo was subbed off in ninth minute. Shut up! 